If the African continent follows its current tangent without going the extra mile, it will only rake in about $81 billion of foreign investment in the next 10 years with the introduction of the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. And this figure captures only 3.2% of foreign investment. A situation investment promotion aspect at the EU-funded project Sean Dugan describes as pitiful. Mr. Dugan was speaking at day two of the Ghana Industrial Summit Exhibition 2021. By 2030, on a baseline, you can expect Africa to capture about 3.2% of global foreign investment. That's still pitifully low. Even if there is a boost to investor interest in Africa, and I think this is a reasonable case rather than a best case, I would anticipate that you should be looking, Africa should be looking at about $162 billion. That would be a 75% increase on 2020. That would take your capture rate up to 6.5%, which is still quite low. So although I think there is potential here to improve the investment environment and to capture more investment, Africa is really behind the eight ball in terms of what, it's, what it should be capable of delivering. He, however, believes that the African continental free trade area has boosted investors' interest in the continent. With this, Mr. Dugan believes if the focus of the investor is shifted towards manufacturing and services instead of the usual resource-seeking investment in the mining, forestry and oil and gas sectors, the continent can draw market-seeking investments. The trade agreement should see a shift in that towards manufacturing, value-added, and services. It will move from resource-seeking to market-seeking opportunities to start to access that huge continental market of 1.2 billion plus people. So we can expect there to be a shift in investments from resource activities into some far more into services and manufacturing. So, bottom left here, yes, there'll still be investment in things like agriculture, oil and gas, and mineral exploitation. But far more, you're going to see projects in things like financial business services, insurance, e-commerce, transport, storage, and shipping. So there's going to be a shift in how Africa is viewed as an investment location, and the types of investment that are likely to occur over the next 10 years. Day two of the seminar saw the launch of the Ghana Agribusiness Brand to promote Ghana as a country for investment in the sector. The Ghana Business Linkages Program seeks to promote collaborations between large agri-processing businesses and current or new suppliers. We developed a brand book and that's what we're here to launch today with a guide to how this brand should be used in practice by all stakeholders so we can ensure it's used consistently.